IEEE 3002 series. Uh, and it is for underground dark bank and direct buried. The method essentially takes the base ampacity, which is provided by the manufacturer, and that base ampacity would be, for example, for underground, would be based on a specific um, uh, installation of the cable. And then when you install it in, uh, in a different uh, configuration, then you would have degrading factors for ambient temperature, for, uh, for um, um, allowable conductor temperature, and for uh, soil thermal receivity other than what manufacturer provides and for the cable grouping and interference temperature from other cables or other sources essentially. Uh, the, in ETAP, when you go to a particular, uh, select a particular cable, you can see this particular cable for underground, if I'm selecting this particular cable, three conductor cable, and if for underground installation, this cable is for, is the base opacity is given at 20 degrees ambient, 90 degrees operating temperature, and thermal receptivity of the soil at, at 90. For above ground is given these two values. So any base opacity which is in the library is based on these conditions. So here, if I'm looking at the ampacity page, and I, if I select the 399, and this is dark bank, you can see the base ampacity given, shown right here. You don't, cannot change those. You, uh, this is from the library. Then the operating temperature and the conductor temperature, you can change them as you wish. So, for example, if I am limiting, although the cable is rated 90 degrees, I can limit my operating temperature to 75 degrees. And as you do so, you can see the derated opacity is reduced by by great factor, by almost half as much. So the uh, base is 530, that's from the library, and this is the number. So if I say that this is in 3 by 5 dark bank, it would automatically correct the, uh, uh, calculate the derated opacity. This method is, um, is, is based on essentially running, um, Brown book was set up based on running thousands of um, uh, uh, underground cable studies and creating these tables that you take, uh, it, it takes, it, it assumes a uniform dark bank or underground raceway with seven and a half inch center to center spacing. Uh, so the, the method is really assuming that every, uh, for example, if I, um, uh, if I select dark bank uh, three by five, all the all the locations, all the conduits would be filled with this size cable, and the hottest location would be limited to 90 degrees. And based on that, you would get 192 amps. If you put 192 amps in every one of those cables, in all 15 cables conduits, then you would be the hottest point, which is at the lowest point in the dark bank, would be at 90 degrees. So that's how the program calculates it based on, uh, it's, it uses the multiplying factor and then based on passive and does the uh, uh, calculation. The next method is NEC cable ampacities and NEC is based on um, for installation above ground trays, conduits, and airdrops. So these are the three uh, configurations, installations that NEC supports. And uh, uh, the difference here, the base opacity has to be based on Article 310, the tables in uh, uh, table, uh, table 310, I call them. And uh, uh, the tray condition can be, can have top or not, not having the top cover and maintain the spacing would give you higher opacity. So if I go back to ETAB again, and if I select uh, NEC, I notice that uh, the, uh, the choices are trays, conduits, or airdrops. So if I go with the trays, and uh, you can see this particular cable, uh, it goes from uh, 525 to 413 and that is uh, uh, the related opacity. 
So that's really straightforward from uh, NEC, and you can, if I put this in a conduit by itself, uh, depending on the ambient adjustments, uh, without grouping effect or uh, with the grouping effect, now you can also say the number of conduits in air next to each other. So if I only have uh, one conduit, and in one, that conduit, if I only got one cable, you can see the opacity, and let me just go ahead and put the base operating same as, um, as the base, 90. You can see my derated opacity is exactly the same as base opacity. Now, if in this conduit, if I put four, three conductors um, in, the, um, in, in, this, uh, in, the, uh, in the same location, or if I go with uh, like three rows of the cables, you can see the um, derated opacity change accordingly. So this is NEC tables, and uh, next is uh, IEC 60364, that's cable opacities. Now, first I guess I'm going to go ahead and talk about what the uh, what uh, type of cables um, uh, 364 uh, supports. Those would be uh, cables uh, less than 1,000 volts AC or 1,500 volts DC. The base opacities are not from the libraries, it's from the tables of IEC. And then you got correction factors on top of them for ambient and grouping. So if I go to uh, ETAP, and I'm going to uh, uh, close this one, but I'm going to uh, select a low voltage cable. And uh, if I go here to, let me close this one also. This particular cable, which is a low voltage cable and uh, is a 0.6 kV, three conductor, 250 kC mil. Uh, if I go to the opacity page and the standard, I can select the standards. Uh, you can see all the standards supported here. If I select the IEC, IEC has dark bank, but let's go to a tray, for example, here. If I go to a tray and uh, you have two options. Uh, for, a, uh, for a tray, if uh, one gives you, and you can see, uh, you can see the current goes up as you allow more air to flow through the tray. Uh, the method here, it's, it tells you the method, you cannot show, change that. And if I put down four, for example, circuits here, uh, you can see the value change. But you also can see the conductor temperature for this particular cable uh, the standard is 90 degrees. You cannot change it. So it's, it's really, you, you don't have a choice to change it uh, to a, any particular degree, and that's what the standard does. The next method, uh, oh, I, I'm going to, the, the type of installation that it has, it really covers essentially uh, from the uh, conduit in air to underground duct bank uh, to uh, 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 trenches and voids through the buildings uh, to uh, wire mesh and so on. So the, the type of installations that IEC supports are a lot more than any other um, standard. The next standard would be IEC, uh, uh, would be BS, but British standard, uh, 7671. And this also, the, the standard uh, British standard and IEC standard are pretty much very close to each other. They, uh, they provide similar methodology, but of course the tables are different, the results, some of them they become identical, some of them are not identical to each other. Uh, the uh, requirements for voltage requirements are the same as IEC and the tables, uh, uh, base opacity comes from the tables of the standard. And the correction factors are uh, more than what you have in the uh, in the British in the IEC standard. So if I go to uh, uh, ETAB again, and if I select BS, uh, you can see I have more uh, operations for uh, for for trace, for example. I have more options here to change. And you can see the temperature now in this particular cable uh, is 85 degrees, not 90, 90 degrees. Uh, 
So you're bound by the standard as the requirement of the standard. 